I don't think that Manchester United signing a new striker this summer is the priority. I'll do another video in terms of what my priority list is for this summer, but if Erling Haaland is going to leave Borussia Dortmund, Man United 100% have to make sure that he calls Old Trafford home next. And it's not City and it's not Liverpool. I'm going to explain exactly why that is the case in this video. Make sure you subscribe, ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to the channel. But I want to explain exactly why it's so crucial for United to sign Haaland if he leaves Dortmund. As I said, I do not think that signing a striker is United's priority this summer. But if Haaland is available, and given that he's got a release clause next summer, the, the, the amount of which is very confusing. I spoke to Jürgen Kurz from Ruhr Naklipten, the local Dortmund newspaper, and he's confirmed that even they're confused about how much that release clause is. 75 million, 85 million, no one really knows. But they're going to lose him for that release clause next summer. And looking at United, we sell Lingard, we sell Pereira, we get Matter off the wages. That in itself will pay for a lot of Haaland. And the issue for United is that we're probably only going to make one big signing this summer. Maybe two if we sell big as well. That's the difference. But if Haaland is available, United have to go all out to sign him. Because there is absolutely no chance we can allow Haaland to join City. Now, once upon a time, we signed Alexis Sanchez merely just to get one over on Man City. We offered ridiculous wages for him and that did not work out. So maybe that's going to make United a bit concerned. But this is a completely different ball game. And if Man City sign... Haaland, they've immediately replaced Aguero. They're currently, what, 17 points clear at the top of the Premier League. You may as well cancel next season in the Premier League if City sign Haaland. And that's a huge, huge reason why United have to go all out for him. Hell, even if Liverpool do, maybe that'll be the player that inspires them after their horrendous, horrendous performance as champions of the Premier League. But United just cannot afford to let City get Haaland. Now, City may have the leg up again. We're signing Haaland. You know, they're going to win the Premier League this year. They've got Guardiola. His dad captained Man City. There's history there. But United have got Solskjaer. And that has to be considered a hugely important point in this situation. Because if United had agreed to that release clause in the contract that Dortmund agreed to, Haaland would already be a United player. But he'd also already be close towards his way out of United. That's why we didn't sign that release clause. Whether you agree or not, well, that was the right thing to do. It, it means that this summer, there is an opportunity. And Dortmund, because of the coronavirus and because of the fact that they're still getting no fans in that stadium, match day revenue is a huge income for them. They're gonna need to sell players. I'm gonna be doing plenty more interviews with the local journalists in Dortmund, finding out the real story, what's going on behind the scenes there. But if you're not to go in with the right offer this summer, we absolutely can sign. Haaland. And as I said, that close relationship that Haaland has with Solskjaer, we have to take advantage of that. Solskjaer brought him through at Molde, gave him his opportunities, both Norwegian. Solskjaer's probably still in conversations, informally anyway, with Haaland himself. We have to take advantage of that. And for me, Solskjaer's close relationship with Haaland negates any problems I think that we would have with Mino Raiola. And of course you'd have problems with Mino Raiola, we've got problems with Pogba, we've had problems with every single player really we've signed from Raiola and probably will do in the future. But Solskjaer's close relationship with Haaland for me negates that problem. So it wouldn't be a reason that we wouldn't sign him. And another reason, we, another reason that wouldn't go against us, Roy Keane's tackle on his dad Haaland, which A did not end his career, he completed that game, he played City's next game, he played for Norway as well. So that's a myth. But Haaland is a mentality monster. And that is what we need at United. We were top of the league at one point this season. Top of the Premier League. And our asses fell out. We fell off a cliff as soon as that happened. I don't think that happens with Haaland in the team. I don't think he would accept it. Bruno Fernandes didn't accept it, but it wasn't enough to bring that whole team up. You need mentality monsters and he really is a monster man you watch the you watch the kid play I mean he is a kid he's only 20 but he feels he deserves it he feels entitled to it all right now and he backs it up with the goals he backs it up with the talent that he's got and when you combine a talent like that with a mentality like that it's a scary combination and a combination that you cannot afford to let City sign 
And that really boils down to the main reason that we have to sign Haaland. Because if we, if, if I'm being completely honest, uh, my priority this summer will be a defensive midfielder. And then it will probably be a centre-back. You see how many goals United are scoring? Yes, we've had plenty of draws this season. But for me, that starts further back. That starts with the defensive midfielder that allows the attacking midfielders of Popper and Bruno to create in better positions rather than being stuck deep. But that's my own opinion. I'll do a video on that later. But if someone like Haaland is available, you don't let him join your, your, your city rival, the team that's won the Premier League. You simply don't. Not if you're serious about competing for the Premier League. And it's, it's something that we've heard from United. It's something we've seen in certain signings that we've done. But And Solskjaer being backed in certain ways. But this is where United have to lay a marker. Because Solskjaer, look, we're second in the league. We're in the Europa League still. We're in the FA Cup still. We've effectively secured top four with that win over West Ham. He's done well to get us to this position, but we cannot take advantage of any of Liverpool's failures, of any of anyone else's failures, and we cannot get closer to City without signing players like Haaland. Players that really have the ability, like Bruno Fernandes, to take the team up to a level which it currently is not. And unfortunately, we've seen this season that we cannot rely on Anti Martial as our true number nine if we are to compete in the Premier League and the Champions League. It's as simple as that. Marcus Rashford is not a striker. He is a left winger. Edinson Cavani looks like he's going to be going back to Argentina. Mason Greenwood, I'd argue, is better through the middle, but is getting used on the right wing because we don't have a right winger. Now, a lot of you would argue that Jadon Sancho is still the priority this summer. It's a big debate. But certainly, if a player like Haaland is available, and he is available because Dortmund have lost money because of the coronavirus, and they are a business first, like any major football club. It, even those, that, even those that posture to be a football club first are ultimately a business first. And United are more of a business than a football club and we all have the frustrations and yeah, fuck the Glazers. But if a player like Haaland is available and City are poised to sign him, United have to step in, step up and make sure that does not happen because if we sign Haaland, that gap to City closes immediately. If they sign him, that gap between United and City reaches new levels. It, the, the gap becomes substantial to the point where signing a top-class defensive midfielder this summer and signing maybe even a top-class centre-back doesn't close that gap because they got much further ahead. So it's not only about strengthening yourselves, it's about understanding what your rivals are doing. Context is everything in every situation in the world. And in this context, United simply cannot afford to let City sign it. And it's not just a case of letting City sign Haaland. Reports suggesting that Haaland wants 350,000 a week. What I'm actually going to do is a full story update on Haaland to United. What all the reports have said over the last 12 months and sort of bring you bang up to date with what's actually going on with the reports to United and to City and to any Premier League team because Haaland will be joining the Premier League. He is built for the Premier League. He's, he, he's not only a mentality monster, he's an actual physical monster as well. And he's a goal scoring monster. He's all the right sorts of monsters. And he's joining the Premier League. So if United sit by and allow him to join City or to join Liverpool or to join Chelsea, who will probably throw money at him as well, we can't be considered serious contenders. We can't be considered serious at all as a club. We can't say that we want to compete for the Premier League and then let a player like that join your rivals when you could do with that player so much. And as I mean, it's the confusion about the priorities. That's the question mark around Haaland, around where United will spend their money this summer. Because for me, as I said, defensive midfielder is, is the biggest priority in terms of the overall shape of the team and how it can improve everyone else by signing a top defensive midfielder. But at the same time, we do need a new striker. Cavani's leaving. We haven't had someone who we can rely on this season. We've had like, what, eight, nine draws? In a, in a dream world, you sign them all in the same summer. But this is not how United work. We all know that we're going to sign one big player and maybe we can sign two big players. If we let the likes of Pereira go, we let the likes of Lingard go, Mata, and in my opinion, I think this summer is the right summer for De Gea to be moved on, not only just for United's sake, but for De Gea's as well. I'll explain that in another video. Tons of videos coming. But for me, United absolutely need to sign Haaland. If he leaves Dortmund this summer, Old Trafford is the only place that we wanted to call home next year. Because if we don't, it's 
scratch off next season in the Premier League if he joins City or Liverpool. Simple as that. And he's going to come to England. So it's going to be one of those if he doesn't join United. Now, where do you stand on Haaland? Do you think he's the priority this summer? Do you think I'm going over the top with what I'm saying? Let me know what you think in the comments below. This is a bit of a different video. It's more of an opinion video, but it's a strong opinion in terms of I really believe in this. And I really think this is the case that United cannot afford if we are considering ourselves a serious football club now that really wants to take it up a level and not just finish second under Mourinho and not just finish maybe second this year under Solskjaer and we want to win the Premier League, you need to sign players like Haaland and not let them join your rivals. My opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV. If you're new to the channel, take it easy.